Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 best Hermes items under $500. These items are actually quite useful so you can definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of these and in my opinion they are great value for money items based on quality and cost per wear that you get out of these. Also these 10 items are from a broad range of departments from the Hermes house. So for those of you who are in the process of building a purchase history to try and get a Birkin or a Kelly bag these are really great items to consider as well because the last thing you want to do is to just buy items just to fill the quota the wait for your quota bag won't be so long because you just got items that you absolutely enjoy and really appreciate. So if you can get a bag out of it, that's just icing on top. When it comes to Hermes, I think a lot of people assume that all of the things that they make are just really pricey and expensive, more so than items from other designer houses. A lot of their items are actually quite reasonably priced compared to similar items from other designers such as Chanel. And the quality on even the most entry level pieces from Hermes is still in Impeccable. Before we get into those 10 items, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, welcome. I am so glad you're here. We talk all things luxury, fashion, and mindful shopping here on my channel. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, I'd love it if you consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so that YouTube lets you know every time I upload a new video related to those topics that we love. So in no particular order, let's get started with the first item, which is this beautiful leather tray. This this is from their homeware section. This is the smaller out of the two sizes it comes in and it also comes in various leather colors which are all very very rich and beautiful. So this is a tiny little organizational tray that you can leave on your vanity, your closet, anywhere really. And I just love how it adds a little touch of luxury to your space. So if you have a look at the bottom of the tray there you can see the perforated H logo which is quite subtle but undoubtedly adds a bit of luxury to the item. This one is so useful to keep those little things that you can so easily misplaced and loose such as bobby pins little lipsticks little hand creams so you can just keep all of the things that you need to quickly grab to run out the door out of your house very quickly the other thing that makes this item really useful is that it is very travel friendly so when you undo all of those buttons it becomes really flat and if you're getting the larger size then you can even roll up the leather like this. So this is such a good piece to travel with. Not that we're doing a lot of traveling at the moment, but it's definitely going to happen sooner or later. And we can definitely travel within Australia at the moment too, which is very exciting. So this is a great travel companion as well because you can pack it so easily. And when you get to the hotel or your accommodation, you can set it up. And every time you come back to the hotel after your day out, you can keep things like your earrings and little jewelry that you can easily misplace again. The last thing you want when you're traveling is to lose little bits and pieces that you normally just leave on benches or tables. So this is definitely a good little item that you can get for around $400. Another item that I recommend from the home section is a tray like this. So this is technically classified as tableware. So this is again a good catch-all for your vanity or your wardrobe where you can leave all of your daily jewelry in the one place so it's easy for you to grab everything when you're getting ready. This one I believe retails for 300 Australian dollars. I know it is a lot of money for a piece of ceramic but each piece from their tableware collection it's almost like artwork. I mean even look at this one for example. This is from their mosaic collection in the platinum colorway so they also do this in the gold as well but I just loved how subtle and cool tone this particular one is. So you can see all of the mosaic patterns and also the H logo with the horse on top. This mosaic pattern is found on the floor at the end entrance of the FSH store. So this is a very meaningful and significant pattern for the house and the details are just breathtaking. The mosaic pattern is also found on the sides of the plate. So this is just a piece of artwork in my opinion. And the reason why I think this is a great value for money is because they do have a larger tray like this which 
of course looks a lot more substantial and a lot more fancy but the larger version of this retails for something like over a thousand Australian dollars but if your purpose of using this tray is to keep little daily jewelry and things like that then this one more than does the job and also you can use this as a decorative piece for your house so you can get one of those easel stands and stand it and it just looks like a piece of artwork like I keep saying. So to use it as a house decoration piece, this is even better value for money because to get a home decoration piece that are actually designed to be a home decoration piece from Hermes, you're gonna have to pay a lot more money. But turning one of these more budget friendly pieces into a decoration piece I think is really worth your money. Moving on the next item that I want to recommend under the price of 500 US dollars mind you is a square silk scarf from Hermes. I've got two in my collection. Hermes is so well known for their silks and you can definitely feel the quality of the silk when you touch one of their silk pieces. So to get a ready to wear item made of silk from Hermes would be quite pricey. So I recommend if you want to go a little bit more budget friendly to try out one of their 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters square scarves. You can style this in so many different ways. You guys know that I did a whole video on styling these scarves as tops. So you can wear it so many different ways. And when you style these scarves as a top, they actually don't look like you're trying too hard. They actually fall really nicely around your body and it really doesn't look like you're trying to wear a scarf as a top. They actually really look like tops. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link to that video on screen and in the description section below as well. Aside from the quality of the silk, the other thing that makes this scarf so worth it is the artwork on them again. So if you look at one of their scarves, let me show you this one, for example. The patterns and the colors on their scarves are just, again, a piece of art. So this particular one is from a couple of years ago or last year. I can't quite remember what collection this was from, but look how beautiful the colors are. And all of the details are just so intricate. So, you know, every corner of the scarf that you look at, the artwork is just immaculate, amazing, so detailed. This particular one even gives off that 3D look. So the drawing itself is so worth it on one of these scarves. I also own the same size silk scarf from Chanel. I love the pattern on that one. But when you compare the quality of the silk, you can definitely tell the Hermes silk quality is a lot more superior. It's thicker, it's shinier, and it doesn't crinkle as easily, probably because it is a little bit thicker. So definitely a lot more substantial, but in terms of cost, they pretty much have the same price tag. I think the Chanel ones may be $50 less than the Hermes one, but yeah, I'd much rather pay another $50 and get an Hermes scarf because you get a lot more quality for the extra $50. Next up is a pair of shoes. These are such great summer shoes. I believe I paid around 400 Australian dollars a couple of years ago. I got these before I went to Italy that summer and I got so much wear out of these ones. Obviously these are quite pricey for a pair of jelly sandals. So these are just full rubber sandals. But in terms of designer pricing, this is not too bad. And what I especially love about the Hermes sandals, they do a few different designs in their jelly sandals, is that they still put a lot of Hermes details onto even their entry level items, such as these shoes. This particular one, which are the Rivage sandals, I mean, look at the anchor chain details on the straps. They are beautiful. And when you have them on your feet, I know some of you might think that these are really cheap material because it's just plastic, but when you put them on your feet, because of the design features and all of the anchor chain details and all of that, they actually look quite fancy on your feet. So if you want to try out a pair of sandals from Hermes, but you don't want to pay like a thousand dollars for their leather sandals, such as the Oran sandals, then these are a really great option to go for. You still get that very quintessentially Hermes look on your feet at less than half the price 
price and these are just so practical you don't have to worry about them you can get them wet you can wear them to the beach you're definitely going to get very low cost per wear on these sandals next up i want to touch on their beauty items so they recently started doing lipsticks and blushes but they've been doing perfumes for a really long time their lipsticks are quite pricey for what they are but i guess they are still technically under 500 dollars for the purposes of this video but what i want to recommend is trying out some of their perfumes and I especially love this version of their perfumes so they do do a lot of beautiful perfumes and there's definitely something for everyone they do beautiful floral scents they do refreshing citrus scents as well as very woody and heavy scents but what I generally get from them is one of these packs so I think these are called the sampler packs or something so I'm using one of them already so there are only three in there but it's pretty much a pack of four 15 millimeter bottles that you get in a box. I mean, how cute are they? These are so portable, so perfect for traveling. So it, each one comes in its own individual little dust bag. How adorable is that? And you see the little bottle, which is a really good size to carry around for traveling. It'll be perfect for carry on luggage as well because it is so small. I mean, that dust bag is such a nice little touch and you can pick and choose different perfume scents as well. So I definitely mix them matched in my pack. So you can see that one. This one is probably my favorite and these will make for a really great gift as well. So if you're trying to look for a gift, but you're not sure what sort of perfume that person might be into, then this is an amazing way to give them a variety of scents so they can try out a few different scents for themselves and decide which one they like and of course who doesn't like something that comes in an orange box like this it is so cute and adorable and i definitely recommend that you try this sampler pack out next up i want to talk about a few jewelry options that i think are really really great so they do have fashion jewelry as well as fine jewelry so their fine jewelry pieces will obviously have higher price tags um, but their fashion jewelry is actually quite affordable but i specifically want to talk about their silver jewelry which are still classified fine jewelry because silver is still a precious metal so i do actually own a cdc ring in their rose gold and i'm wearing it on my finger today so it looks like this this one being solid rose gold was obviously a little bit more pricey. So for the purposes of today's video, where we are talking about the best value for money items for under $500, I think it is a great option to go with a ring exactly like this, but in the silver. I just absolutely love the design features of this ring with the two pyramids on the sides and that little playful ring in the middle. And this ring is very, very comfortable to wear. And the design is just so unique. So I know a lot of people wear, you know, things like the Cartier Love Ring, which I also have one, but I do find that this ring is a lot more playful, a lot more unique. It almost looks like a bit of a high jewelry piece because of all of the details. And I do get a lot of questions and compliments every time I wear this out at luxury stores. Even when I'm shopping at other luxury stores, I mean, last week when I went to Celine, the sales associate was like, oh, what is that ring? It is just so interesting and it looks so nice. So yeah, this one in the silver, I definitely recommend that you try it out. And I believe that one retails for around 500 US dollars. Next, let's talk about the equestrian category. You know, Hermes heritage is to do with equestrian goods. So anything to do with horse riding, such as saddles and little tools that you need for your stable and such. There are two items from the equestrian department that I definitely want to check out and potentially get as well. The first one is their polo t-shirts. So they come in a few classic colors. I believe they come in the orange. I've seen the navy and the black as well. Might come in other colors as well. It is such a neat polo t-shirt. I believe it retails for around 500 Australian dollars, which will be, you know, probably about 400 US dollars. And for a polo tee, again, it is quite pricey, but if you compare the price of that polo tee to their ready-to-wear pieces, such as their t-shirts, even their t-shirts from the women's ready-to-wear department will be closer to $1,000. And the quality on these polo t-shirts is actually quite nice. I have seen it before in the store, and I have to admit, they look a bit preppy, so I didn't end up getting one, 
But if you are someone who wears polo t-shirts, I definitely think that it is a really good option to go for, especially considering that the price is so much better than even a t-shirt from their ready to wear collection. The other equestrian piece that I absolutely love is one of their toolboxes. So the specific one that is under 500 US dollars is the round one. I also saw this one in the boutique. It's actually quite big. It's about this big and this tall. So it is a decent size. Yes, it is just a huge tin, but I just love all of the details on that with the orange strip and the Hermes mark, the lid, it is so playful. I was talking to my essay and I think it'll be such a great option if anyone has a little storage container for your living room. And my essay was telling me a lot of his clients actually get it for you know their kids' toys because kids' toys are just everywhere if you have kids and this toolbox is large enough that you can just chop all of the little toys and in no time your living room is tidy again. I mean technically this toolbox would have been designed for the stable so you can put all the equestrian tools in it but a lot of us don't do horse riding these days and I just think it is again a very nice house decoration piece for your living room at a pretty reasonable price because a furniture piece from Hermes would cost definitely a few times more than that. So it is definitely a budget way to add a piece of Hermes furniture looking piece to your living room or any room in your house at a reasonable price. The next item I want to recommend is men's ties. So Hermes does beautiful ties in an array of patterns and colors. They usually have a whole wall of men's ties, usually around their silk section. Just like their silk scarves and twillies, they do some very intricate patterns patterns and some stunning colors on their men's ties as well. So I know the majority of you guys watching my video are women from my analytics. So a lot of us probably won't be wearing the tie, but I think an Hermes tie makes for a really great gift for that special someone in your life. It could be, you know, your partner, it could be your dad, it could be your brother. And Hermes ties retail around 300 Australian dollars, I believe. Again, yes, a very expensive price tag for a tie, but I think the best gifts are those things that, you know, that individual person would never probably spend the money on themselves, but if they got it as a gift, it is such a great item. So yeah, I think an Hermes tie is definitely worth the money for that special someone in your life, or if you're a guy, then definitely look into one of their ties. And lastly, I want to talk about their baby towels. So the smallest little towels that they do in their collection, which retail for, I believe, 75 Australian dollars. I did actually get one of these tiny little towels for one of my friends when she had her baby girl. It is so cute. I believe it comes in the pink and the blue. So obviously for a girl and a boy, you don't have to stick to those, you know, stereotypical colors, but you know, it's just really cute. Or you can just use it as a face towel for yourself as well, because I I believe the size of the towel is the exact same size as a face towel. It's got that Avalon H patterns on it. It's just so adorable. And again, the price of it is really, really crazy for a piece of tiny little towel. Just having one of these tiny little towels hanging on your towel rack will just make for a nice little luxurious touch to your bathroom. Or alternatively, they will make for great gifts for anyone who has a baby in your life. Again, it still comes in that beautiful orange box and everything. So another great item that you can consider from Hermes under $500. So these are my recommendations. If you guys have any other suggestions on the best items from Hermes under $500, leave them in the comments below and share with all of us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.